In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make a power clip and then how to edit a power clip. And the easiest way of showing you what a power clip actually is is to show you this which is an example that we've got here which is from the manual. And what I want to do is I want to take all these objects and I want to clip them by the bounds of this star shape here. So in other words I want to put all these objects inside this star. And to do that is very easy. I can just bring that across like that and I can select all these objects like this together and as long as the stars on top I can come here to the fill flyout and come down to power clip and go up to create power clip here so I click on this and you can see that's exactly what it's done it's clipped the objects underneath to the bounds of the object above as you can see and I can treat this as just a regular object now if I want to edit the internal contents of this object I can click on it like this I go to object mode and what I can do is I'll just scroll it out and I'll zoom in just to make it more clear what I'm doing. So I've got this object here and you can see because it's selected it comes up as a group here. So I can expand that out, scroll that down and I can see the contents of this group. I've got an image, I've got some effects groups, some stars etc. So I could click on this star here which is this red star and for example I could change its colour or I can click on it and change its position and I can see it's above this yellow star so let's have a look at its Z order here so it is above the yellow star so if I just do that put it behind you can see that it's changed its Z order or I can check on the click on the yellow star move that around I can move that back now behind the blue one again and I can move the blue star around if I go to my second row of tools I'll see up here that I've got all my regular tools for that star so I can decrease the number of points and I can give it a bit of roundness you know I can do all these things uh, and that's how I edit the internal contents. If I click on this, I can move that around. And I can also click on the image. I can move the image around like that, as you can see. So in other words, I can come into using the uh, Object Manager and actually edit all the objects within a power clip. But when I click off that, and I then I'll just close the Object Manager and I'll make that bigger. When I click on this object, this object at the moment is just a separate object that I can resize etc. I can even go into fill mode here and I'll see power clip here and I can actually make it as if it's punched out. In other words, I'm going to object mode, I can actually make the objects on the outside bounds of the shape. So that's a great thing with power clip, I've got these controls. And I can hide it and I can turn it off and do all sorts of things. And I could even apply an effect to this power clip. So I could even give it a drop shadow for example. So that's the power of power clip. It lets you place objects within the bounds of another object and still edit those objects in there and treat it as a regular object. So you can create like CD covers or anything where you actually want to clip the shape with another shape. And that's power clip. 